Horrible Harry Moves Up to Third Grade, Chapters 2 and 3 today. Two things in third grade that didn't change. The first thing I did when I sat down was look out the window. Everything looked so different from the second floor. Last year, I could see the school dumpster, lawns, and cars on the street. Now there were just clouds in the sky. Look, Harry blurted out from across the room. There goes Lifestar, the helicopter. I bet it's taking a bloody person to the hospital. Mary made a face. I was hoping you might change over the summer, Harry, but you haven't, she groaned. You're still gross. I smiled. At least that was one thing I could count on. Ida raised her hand. Where's the monitor chart, Miss Mackle? Up here in cursive, she said, pointing to the front bulletin board. It looked like Greek to me. I tried reading it. Third grade employment. Class leaders, Harry and Sydney. Zookeeper, Mary. Forester, Song Lee. Custodian, Dexter. Equipment manager, Doug. And courier, Ida. And that's what the cursive looked like. I couldn't even read the job I had. The rest of the kids' names were in the envelope at the bottom. I couldn't read the words on that either. Temporarily unemployed. Welcome to third grade, boys and girls, Miss Mackle said. I am so excited that we looped. Here we are for a second year together. I hope you all got my postcard asking you to bring a summer memento to class. Everyone nodded, even Harry. Harry did his homework? Now I knew I was on another planet. Before we have our morning conversation about our summer, let's have our class leaders start the pledge. Harry and Sydney each carried a small flag to the front of the room. I knew why Miss Mackle put them together. They have a tough time getting along. Sydney does something stupid and then Harry gets revenge. I wonder if that would change too. After the pledge and the star-spangled banner, we all sat down at our desks. Now, Miss Mackle said, let's share our summer experiences. Song Lee, would you begin? Song Lee opened the brown bag on her lap. Everyone leaned forward to see what was inside. My aunt visited us from Korea. When we took a walk, I found this. We watched Song Lee hold up a jar that had something golden inside. It looked like an egg wrapped in silk. Aunt Sun Yi and I found this under a fence post. It is a spider egg sack. In the spring, it will hatch into many spiders, just like Charlotte's magnum opus. Miss Mackle sighed. Oh. I could tell the teacher loved Song Lee's memento. She put her hand over her heart. Can I go next? Sydney blurted out. I've got a memento, too. Memento, Mary corrected. No, you can't go next. I have a question for Song Li. What did you what did you put on top of your jar? Song Li giggled. Aunt Sun Yi's pantyhose. We cut up an old pair. When everyone laughed, I thought about Song Li. She spoke English so well now. Can we keep the egg sack in the classroom? Dexterous asked. Yes, Song Lee replied. After we all watched her set the jar gently on the science table, we raised our hands again. Go ahead, Sydney, Miss Mackle said. Finally, Sydney groaned. Then he started unwrapping something in aluminum foil. My stepdad and I did a lot of barbecuing this summer, so I brought this as a souvenir. We watched Sydney hold up a burnt wiener. It got left on the grill, Sydney cackled. A lot of people laughed, but Harry and I didn't. We thought it was dumb. Who would bring something like that to class? Sydney Lafleur. I went next. I brought rocks, I said. I got them at the old Newgate prison and copper mine in East Granby. They're real copper, and this is an old Granby copper coin. When I held up the stuff, everyone ooed and awed. Gee, Doug, Miss Mackle said, writing something down on her clipboard. That would be a great place to visit, since we're studying rocks and science. Maybe I could arrange a class field trip to that mine. Yeah, everyone said. 
Oh boy, I thought secretly. That's what I get for leaving one small part out of my story. I never went down into that mine. I was too chicken. Two days before my family went to Old Newgate Prison and Copper Mine, Harry and I had watched the movie Tom Sawyer. It was great, except for one awful part where Tom and Becky get, got lost in the mine and Injun Joe falls down the hole in a cave. I made up my mind then. I would never go underground. Please, God, I pray, don't let us go on a class field trip to that mine. Okay, Harry said, my turn. And he held up a picture of himself in that scary elevator ride, the Drop of Doom, at Mountainside Park. I wasn't afraid at all, he bragged. It was a piece of cake. That made Song Lee and me roll our eyes. We knew better. Sidney cracked up. Yeah, tell me more, old yeller. Tell the truth. Tell him you had a huge case of the heebie-jeebies. When Harry held up a fist, I knew what he was thinking. Revenge. That was the second thing that didn't change in third grade. I just worried what Harry might do. Chapter 3, A Deadly Event Things took a nosedive the next day when Harry brought something to school in his shoebox. The box had cellophane on top so you could look inside. All we could see, though, was dirt, some grass, a rock, a plastic lid, and a toilet paper tube. Oh no, Ida groaned. Does that box have a snake in it like the first day in second grade? Nope, Harry grinned. Something better, he said. My mom read me Charlotte's Web this summer, and I got interested in spiders. Miss Mackle beamed. I remember when I read that book to you last year. Yeah, Harry said. I will never forget our invasion of the cobwebs. Well, there's a real spider and cobweb in this box, and I have to get him some fresh water. Sidney cringed. We watched Harry open up the trap door on the side of the box, pull out a small lid, and take it over to the classroom sink to fill it with water. When he returned, he put it carefully back inside. Now I'll close the trap door so Charles can't get out. Charles, Sidney scoffed, you gave your spider a name? Of course, Henry, Harry snapped. He's my pet spider. I found him in my bathtub a week ago. I didn't know spiders took baths, Sidney said. They don't, Harry groaned. He was just thirsty. A bathtub is a good place to find some water. What kind of spider is he, Miss Meckle asked. Just an ordinary one with eight legs and eight eyeballs, Harry said. He has everything he needs in this spider house. I just have to feed him a fly now and, now and then. I hate spiders, Sidney said. They're bloodsuckers. Mary put her hands on her hips. Spiders have to eat, too. Charlotte explained all of that. I think I'll make a spider house for my egg sack after school, Song Lee said. I'll help you, Mary replied. Harry and I started pulling books about spiders out of the library corner. Mary and Song Lee got their science notebooks and started drawing pictures of Charles. Dexter and Ida made a spider board game about Charlotte's Web with pink chance cards. What were the name of Charlotte's three grandchildren, Dexter said as he wrote the question down? Name them and you advance three spaces. And then, at 10.07, it happened. When everyone was busy, Harry was over by the windows trapping a fly for Charles's meal. Sydney screamed. The spider just crawled out the trap door. He's gonna get me. Harry put down his fly swatter and raced over, but not in time. Sydney took one of my copper rocks and smashed the spider. Blam! You killed Charles! Harry yelled. Miss Mackle ran over. Everyone made a circle around the science table. He was trying to escape, Sidney pleaded. He was going to bite me. I did what I had to do. No one said anything. Slowly, Harry put up two fists. Uh-oh, I thought. 
Now he's thinking double revenge. Miss Mackle called us over to the braided rug in the library corner. Please sit down, boys and girls, she said. We did. Spiders are nature's best friends. They eat harmful insects. They help plants grow. We don't have to be afraid of them. Mary sneered. Sydney is the only one afraid of spiders. Everyone stared at Sydney. So, he said, they can kill you. Miss Mackle drew something on her clipboard. There are two spiders that are deadly. Both have special markings. The Black Widow has a red hourglass on its abdomen, Harry interrupted. Yes, and the other has a violin marking on its back. That's the brown recluse. Everyone studied the teacher's drawings. But most spiders are harmless. Sydney made a face. They're not my best friends. Then he paused. I, I am sorry about Charlie. His name was Charles, Harry snapped. Well, I think we should have a moment of silence for Harry's dead pet, Mary suggested. That sounds like a good idea, the teacher replied. So we did. We bowed our heads and closed our eyes and thought about Charles. Then Miss Mackle took us downstairs for a drink and a run in the sun. I think she wanted us to air out our brains. When we came back into the room, Sidney started looking around for something. Hey, he blurted out. Someone stole my burnt wiener. Chapter four tomorrow. Horrible Harry moves up to third grade. See you guys later.